みなさん、こんにちは。そして、午後日本語へようこそ。今日のテーマは、ネガティブ・アジクティブです。So, as you can see, they have a little vending machine right at the front there. Oh, but wait, it says tobacco. Yes, they sell tobacco in vending machines, which is not good for Australian standards. And that's why we're going to learn not only, but why we might be learning negative adjectives. So, at the end of this video, you're going to be able to write e adjectives in negative form and na adjectives in negative form. Pretty straightforward. So, e adjectives in negative form first up. How do you do it? Well, here's a list of the adjectives that you can practice with. You must take off the final e in the adjective and then add kunai and des if it's a formal situation. For example, not funny would be moshiro kunai des. Just be really careful with.、Uh, Good. It's not ikunai. Again, follow the similar pattern as past tense. So, isn't good. You need to follow the yoi one. Take off the extra e. So, yo kunai des. Not good. Or it isn't good. Let's have a look at these examples together. You read that kanji as takai. It's an e adjective. You take off the e. And you need to add kunai. So, taka kunai. And in brackets, des, depending on the situation, is it formal, informal, you decide and use appropriately. You read this kanji as yasui, it's an e adjective, take off the e, keep the yasu, you add in kunai, so yasu, kunai, des. Pretty straightforward, hopefully. Let's have a look at na adjectives now. So here's a list that you can use to practice later on, just pause it and have a go. Pretty straightforward though.、Um, just be really careful with these ones because they look like e adjectives, but they're not.、Uh, they're just being really deceptive. So they have an e at the end, but in fact, there's an extra na there. So just remember them off by heart, really.、Uh, I know it's annoying, but you'll be fine. Trust me. So take off the na and add janai des. For example, I don't like it. Suki janai des. Be careful with the na adjectives that look like e adjectives. For example, I don't dislike it, a bit passive aggressive. Kirai janai des. But you don't like it, so you know. So let's have a look at these ones. You read that kanji as suki, it's a na adjective.、Uh, you take off that na and add janai. So suki, suki, janai. And in brackets, des, depending on your context. Lastly, you may. Yeah, it's actually an adjective. Be careful, take off the na. You may. Janai. Des. And that's it. Hopefully, you've mastered e and adjectives. So you can have a go here. My teacher isn't funny. The restaurant isn't expensive. The clothes aren't cheap. My dog isn't strange. I don't really like potatoes. That ramen isn't delicious. The toilet isn't clean at all. There's a little bit of a clause there at all.、Uh, you need to put this in front of the adjective、um, zen zen. So it just goes straight in front of the adjective.、Uh, and I forgot about this one. Don't really.、Uh, this also goes straight in front of the adjective. You say, real, like, don't really as amari. That's only negative. So I'm not really, or I'm not very good at English. Again, this goes in front of your adjective, just amari. So have a go. And pause now so、uh, you can、uh, take your own time. じゃあチェックしよう。私の先生は面白くない。レストランは高くない。服は安くない。私の犬は変じゃない。私はジャガイモがあまり好きじゃない。そのラーメンは美味しくないよ。トイレは全然綺麗じゃない。英語があまり上手じゃないです。Um, you can add the 私 or the です。It depends on you. And that's it. I hope you went pretty well. If not,、uh, make sure you go back and check. And here's some bonus time. Adjectives in negative form can also be used as questions. Uh, but be really careful because the intonation could mean it becomes a statement rather than a question. For example, isn't it great? So, what can I raise the intonation at the end、uh, versus a statement, it isn't great? So, what can I? Just a flat statement. 
And it goes without saying, really, that you need to really practice that so you don't want to get it wrong and embarrass yourself. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, どうもありがとうございました。高先生の negative adjectives でした。